uh, Senator Aya Rishay is a member of the APC. He's here in the studios with us. Well, listening to what transpired now, but you know, the impression people have is, first of all, uh, they saw the APC hold their rally, and now the PDP is about to hold their rally. It's not happening. So the person out there will think, oh dear, why does this always happen? When the government is in power, they always want to stop the opposition from doing what they have to do. Why is that the case? Uh, well, <clears throat> the situation that happened in Ikiti yesterday, <clears throat> from the video I can that I watched, uh, is just an introduction to the media and to the Nigerian public. The unfortunate uh, situation that we are faced in Ikiti. We have a first class con artist in the government house. The, the, if if Fayoshi was beaten to the point of hanging something on his neck and holding, if you uh, another video showing that he was tying, his hand was broken, his neck was broken, uh, with tear gas. I mean, we, 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 I think we're all very sensible people. It, um, the man came in, he's a drowning man. He has seen everything written on the world that was going to lose the election. So he's trying everything possible to whip up sentiment. And this is a man that has the capacity to cry within a second. Once he starts, who, 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 the next thing you will see tears flying uh, through his eyes. Are you saying you have had that kind of dealing with him before? Oh, yes. I, if, he needs some, was that? if he needs something from you now, he will come in. Before you know it, was, oh, I'm being cheated. It's because I have nobody. Before you know it, it will, will start crying. He has that capacity. What he did yesterday was just to tell you the kind of person that we have in the government house. And he has winked those who do not understand him. And he continues to deceive our people. No, we're talking about the sitting yeah. governor. Yes. He said he was beaten by the police. He said he was tear gas. I can tell you. Are you disputing the fact that a governor is lying? I can tell you that he's telling a lie, a very white one. Which police? Does he not have security? He doesn't, nobody would draw his, uh, his own list. But the, the, so did you see anybody, any of them around him? Yeah, but the man fell down. The yeah. reports that uh, I think the AIG in that zone said that they were withdrawn. Uh, I think Vanguard is also, some papers are reporting that. No, politicians, not, security agents would not, be the governor's, not the governor's security agent. He because has, the reports we see there is talking about governors that they will withdraw their security aids. No, they will withdraw the security aids of politicians. But is the governor is a what, politician? Oh, he is, but of course he enjoys some special privilege as a governor. And he has, or at least you can call the uh, uh, AIG back to find, to confirm whether they withdraw his, uh, his own list. To the best of my knowledge, nobody withdrew his own list. He came in from the uh, State House Hospital. You saw everything that he, all the gadgets that he had prepared to whip up sentiment, sentiment okay, but know, from the public. The way the police, the gunshots that uh, were reported to have uh, been shot by the police and the tear gas, didn't it happen? Was he also hoodwinking? No, I don't know about uh, tear gas, but I, and I, do, I have not heard of any gunshot killing in Ikiti. We heard about tear gas, and that's normal procedure. When you want to disperse the crowd, what do you use? You use tear gas, you don't go ahead using life ammunition, we have not heard that anybody has used live ammunition. If you want to, I mean, would they stand there and just be saying, oh, move, move, move. These people, when you look at politicians and the crowd, it will become very difficult for any policeman to control wow. such humongous crowd if you don't particularly try and disperse them using tear gas. So I understand tear gas was used, but if, if Ayofa or she was actually tear gassed, did that tear gas break his neck or his hand? So people should begin to ask questions. When somebody comes to the public and he has the capacity to deceive, so and that is, that's, that's, that's all that is doing. The, all the paper, most of the papers we've seen here yeah. are saying that uh, it was tear gas. Uh, the go deputy governor said he was beaten up. Mm -hmm. uh, the DIG saying that security aides of politicians will be withdrawn. Some say they already withdrawn. Yeah. So was the deputy governor also lying that he wasn't beaten? That he was beaten up? Yeah, he said he was hired him on time. You know, you know the, the reason why the deputy governor is a collateral damage was for five because 
he has been working with him for the last three years. So he's, he's copied some of his traits. I cannot say that he was beaten up. If he said he was beaten up, how come he didn't have the gadget on his neck? Maybe Fajr doesn't have two of those things. He should have uh, probably hung his, his, uh, his foot on or something, and, or even POP, by yesterday. Yes, so right. this, this yes. guy, what will he say when his boss is saying he was beaten up? What do you expect him to say? <laughs> so uh, do you think he, that, uh, this, this, this guy has learned the art <coughs> of lying through IFI Oshie. So all what we've seen on, on, on television, all of the comments that they've made, you're saying none of those things happened? Let me tell you, particularly those things that IFI Oshie put on his neck. No, the, no those beyond, things beyond the governor. Dead. Well, beyond, beyond the governor, beyond the governor, the, what we saw. Beyond the governor they, are, they are probably would have been targeting. I wasn't there because I was on my way to Lagos. So isn't this so, uh, using state apparatus to coerce the opposition? Let me just, let me, <laughs> let me say something. When Ayofaoshi goes about the television, that when you, when you taught me I'm Peter the Rock and this and that, and he's been doing all this talk, he just saw tear gas now. He has become a jelly. He's a coward. The truth of the matter is nobody is going to sit down and expect someone to be violating the law. They were told, do not hold any rally because the two of you have conflicting times at the same venue. That is what the uh, AIG so said. You and confer, if, so you confirm now that he was actually tear gas? I don't know. You said he saw tear gas and he became a jelly. No, that's what he claims. That's what he claims. He said it's not tear gas. Even the truth of the matter is, when you look at it this way, if the police say, please, you will not hold the rally because we don't want trouble on, at the same time, at the same venue, that makes a lot of logical sense. But why now, if you police, decide, why if you decide police, to violate that... Why didn't the police adopt other um, strategic measures to try to disperse the, the crowd? Uh, which method? Was there any imminent danger for the people holding those um, of course. Those rallies? At, if two parties time? come together, there will be complete uh, breakdown of law and order. If APC is holding a rally um, and uh, PDP is holding a rally at the same venue, you can never predict what will happen. Where was this venue? I decided the pavilion. Uh, the, Both the of pavilion. them were having it at the same venue? The that is, have it at they the same applied venue? for the same venue. That's what the AID just told us. Yeah, but eventually... For the be. same time. And they now said, please choose different dates because we have a conflicting date and we don't want this thing to happen. So were they at the same okay. place, at the That's... same venue, at the same time? No. Before, before they take us? No, out. regardless of whether they, they, they were at the same place, it was trouble that is imminent. But if two question, people, okay, let, let two parties this. want See, to hold if, Iran... If, was it only the PDP at the yeah. point where the police came in? Was it only the PDP members that were there? I or don't know. was the APC also I, there? I don't know. I don't know because I was, I was in my country home. And I was, by 12 o'clock, I started driving towards uh, Lagos. So I don't know what happened in Ado. I only saw the videos. And the video that I saw, look, understanding and knowing the personality of Ayo Fayoshi, that is a first-class con work, con at his work. So, he, he just, he acted that thing. It's a script. All right, so was APC scheduled to have a rally yesterday? That is what the AIG said. A, a victory saw, rally. We thought we saw the rally previously. No, of course, PDP already had their own final rally, just like uh, APC. We had ours, and uh, they had theirs much earlier than we, uh, than we did. And of course, we had ours on, uh, on, on Tuesday. And you now look at it that, okay, uh, there is a victory rally. And that rally is not usually as big as the final rally where we had the president or where he had the stalwarts of uh, the PDP uh, during his own. So when people now say they want to do a victory rally, it's putting another set of people together, walking through okay. the town. Okay, but you can't tell yeah. us at the moment if both parties were present while the police was dispersing the PDP supporters. You say you don't have that information? No, I don't have that information. Right. And I'm Let's... sure because the APC people are by far more law-abiding, the moment the police told them, do not come for rally, you have a conflict, they will not show up there. I don't expect them to show up there. So, but if they did, what the police did to prevent, the police just tried to prevent big time trouble. But when two poli uh, politicians, two leading politicians, when we, they are doing rally together, 
you can ever predict the result and the outcome.